Ten. Hi, hi guys, General Splatton here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a lacquer effect over like uh, gold armor or it could be silver armor or even just regular uh, the gunmetal or chainmail type armor. Uh, what I he have here is a uh, Titan. This is a Scorn Titan that I'm working on for Mateo 660661. Uh, mostly done got a few little effects here you see this is the effect I'm going for this lacquer effect over the uh, gold armor you can best see it here and I wish I'd kept one of these to uh, actually do the demonstration of them but that's what I'm going for right there he's got green armor but it looks more uh, looks lighter compared to the green here even with once the green's been highlighted slightly so that's the effect we're going for where it looks like it's been painted over the gold sort of like a lacquer effect over the uh, gold of the armor so that's what we'll be going for and here's both of them side by side that's what we're going to be trying to achieve unfortunately the place I'm going to be showing you at is way at the bottom on this on his feet that's why I wish I'd saved one of the others now, uh, the uh, base color for the gold was this right here, Glorious Gold from Game Color. Uh, it's, a, it's a darker gold. I do like uh, this particular color from Game, uh, game Color. Uh, their metallics doesn't seem to separate even remotely close to as bad as the regular colors do. And then also I might use as a highlight color the polished gold. Uh, just depending on uh, when I get to where it's at. Now what I'm using for the green is Gnarls Green. This is a Privateer Press P3 color. Gnarls Green. He wanted a dark green and so in, not so much you know, a bright emerald green so that's why I chose this Gnarls Green. You can still uh, lighten it up very very easily. Uh, instead of going with a uh, you know kind of a yellow highlighted. I use white to highlight it up here. You see you got the dark all the way up to the uh, white there so and on the uh, piece there so uh, that's the figure that we have right there. Uh, pretty pleased with how it's turned out. I still got to do the gold. Uh, the red you see is rubbing off there. That uh, is a color I'm going to be doing a paint comparison on uh, paints so stay tuned for that anyway alright so I've got my uh, gnarls green right here I've thinned it uh, about uh, one to one maybe a little bit more because I want it thin now uh, be sure you're not trying to do a wash on the area you're trying to cover you're painting it on and I'm trying to do this without uh, magnification so bear with me you don't want a lot of paint on your brush like I said, you're painting it on. You're not trying to wash it on. I guess you could take some shorter steps and do it that way, uh, where you know it doesn't take as long. Uh, I don't prefer to do that. Like I said, I want this painted on in the areas that I need it. And if I can get back in camera so you can see that, I'm just trying to paint it on, and my paint is not thin enough. So I've already kind of jumped it. Now, I don't know how long this is going to be. I didn't want to edit it and just talk back over it. I preferred to do it this way. So, yeah, there we go. Like I said, you don't want to... Let's see if I'm in... Yes, I'm in shot there. There we go. Uh, I got to just lightly build it up. It's going to take several times, several coats to get it to where I want it and some places are going to be thicker than others as you'll see but this is what I'm trying to achieve right here just uh, not trying to wash it in you know it's not a wash where it's going to hit the grooves uh, I'm trying to paint over all the grooves are going to eventually stand out yes but I'm not trying to load it all up at once I prefer to do this technique over time so I'm going to build up layers of paint and you can already see a dramatic effect right there. Now we're going to take it darker than that. And like I said, since I didn't have the paint thinned enough here, 
that's almost done in just one swipe uh, but we're gonna get it thin uh, two to one say you don't you're not trying to go for a veil where it's three to one or more say two to one you just want very thin paint and then just uh, like I said not very much on your brush you adding a little bit at a time since and then we're gonna come back in if I can keep it in camera Ugh. sorry about that but you see here just building it up see it gets into the cracks just fine as we do it maybe I need to be up a little closer so you can see yeah let's do it this way hopefully it's gonna stay in focus But you see the gold clearly still shows through. Let's get over here to the one we can see better. And that's what we're trying to achieve. The gold still showing through. Otherwise it would just be painted green armor. And that's not what we're going for. So. Take your time. Build it up. Over a few coats. You're not trying to leave a lot behind. You're just trying to cover areas. I don't know if the glare is showing through. One of these days I'll get a good camera. That will allow me to really do some effective lighting. <laughs> and get everything done. But see that's what you're, you're trying to go for right there. So you can still see the gold through it. But that's the effect that we're trying to go for and actually I've got it pretty close I'm gonna get a little bit darker one more pass you're dealing with thin paint so it doesn't take long to dry because you're not flooding the model hope I've made that clear <laughs> now let's see right there there we go oh, make sure I got it off for a start and then just come in. Yep, that's about right. Being careful to leave my my edge. That, that's what we're looking for. Right there. Doesn't take long now, so you don't have to worry about, oh gosh, I gotta do ten layers and it's gonna take two hours. Uh, if I can get this thing down right. Let me just do the camera downwards so where I want to put my hands is going to be in focus all the time. Or in camera shot. There we go. Uh, Y'all think I need some lessons from uh, Schnauzer face minis? <laughs> uh, I think so. All right, see how it's building it up, and I'm not worried if it, if I get it too dark because we're gonna come back with the next part in a moment. Let's see. I mean, it's very simple to do. All you're doing is just really adding color over another color. So there you go. Now I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get this a little bit darker over here, so we'll add a little bit more. Yeah. Now see, I could have done that with a wash, but it wouldn't have looked as effective, I don't think. And I certainly wouldn't have had the control. And see, this is not really taking too terribly long to do it the slow way. But there's always shortcuts that people want to take, and that's fine. Just choosing not to, which is fine as well. Paint like you want to paint. Even if it's a commission. Alright, that's where I want to stop at with the green. Now, I think I'm going yep, to take the glorious gold here. I do like this color. It's a very, very rich gold. I like it. Here, let me show you this. There's come on don't lighten back up well anyway that's it no. alright 
sorry this is going to be a long video maybe I should have edited it uh, all right now I take here's an, another trick uh, this is the water I've been using to thin down the green with wherever it is there it is I'm using that to thin down the gold see now it's greenish gold hmm ain't that cool don't be afraid to thin metallic paints they paint exactly like any other paint now say there's a area right through here now I'm trying to brush this on it but I'm keeping a little of the green there so I'm trying to uh, hit in between some of the uh, other spots some of the high points like right through there so I can keep the grooves Let's see how that is done I'm not trying to hit the whole thing just got a highlight right through the middle of it and there we go for that uh, on this side I have no idea what the camera is doing as far as where I'm at but you're getting the general idea and this person really wants to talk to me but they're not going to so hadn't rang in four or five hours so of course right when I need to do something but that's what you're trying see how it's lighting the green uh, the gold back up there we are that's what we're trying to achieve right there gets darker back toward the uh, sides but right where the ridge is that's where it's uh, the lightest at boy back in a moment folks alright guys here we go now I've got it finished pretty much uh, you see the sides are darker and you see how it comes around and uh, lightens up on this ridge right there then it'll get darker back around through here or this way and it lightens up but you see how uh, the grooves on the lighter parts where they're still got green there you know I was just trying to hit some of the high points for the gold that's what I was trying to achieve to get the lacquer effect so they just look um, uh, like it's all the same color but the shine makes it look uh, lighter or thinner in that part and you see how it's darker back there now you, now you can see the transition where it's dark toward the corner and then coming back around toward the ridge there right in here if I could there we go it's lighter so uh, that's uh, what we're going for with the uh, lacquer effects you see there I'll try to get some uh, still picks so you can see uh, those well that's it for general splatting wasn't a very good video I'm sorry uh, for the quality of it but uh, hopefully you get the idea and you can try this on a future project of your own. If you got any questions, let me know. This is General Splatton, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.